given the financial state of everything right now, as an aspiring developer, should you be worried? That's the question I'm going to be answering right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I have no interest in doing that. I've never done that. Um, so I'm just going to be blunt and honest with you. I've seen some content creators that even go as far as to try to pretend that we're not even in a recession right now, where entry level jobs are plentiful. It's not that competitive. It's easy to get in. It's great. It's amazing. Everyone should learn to code right now all the time. I think a lot of you have gotten a little bit of a gut check that a lot of that is bullshit. Not everyone should code. Not everyone's capable of transitioning right now. And quite a few people are not financially prepared to withstand how long it's actually going to take to become a developer. I always tell people, if you're going at it full time, if you're going to go to a coding boot camp, give yourself at least one year of a financial backing. If you're going the self-taught route, give yourself at least two years. Even now, even during this recession, you can trim those times, but the average aspiring developer will probably take around that long. That's not meant to be discouraging and say that you shouldn't pursue it now, but I, one of the biggest reasons most developers quit over is because they've been given unrealistic expectations. You're going to become a developer in three months. And if you go to coding boot camp, you're going to get a job right afterwards, right? Now is not the time more than any to continue to humor those bullshit, unrealistic expectations that continue to put aspiring developers in a shitty shitty financial situation because they thought they had all the information and they took a chance on that. No matter what our current financial state is, no matter what the market looks like, you're always going to take a chance. And the only thing you're going to change with this reception or this recession is to give yourself a little bit more room of a financial backing. That might mean you keep your job for a little longer that you hate. That might mean that you pick up a part-time job. You talk to your spouse, you talk to whoever to help provide some additional support if you are going to take the plunge into becoming a developer. Your situation is very unique. But we can no longer pretend that this, this track, this profession is incredibly accessible right now. The good news is recessions always eventually end. I just want to make sure you stop listening to bad financial advice. You give yourself a little bit more of an emergency fund, a little bit more of a backing. And if you can do that, your chances of becoming a developer skyrocket. I'm serious. They do. The one thing that holds people back the most from what I've seen, I mentored thousands of developers, is going into this career transition with unrealistic expectations, usually paired with for poor financial backing. If you can solve that problem, this profession now becomes very accessible to you. You don't have that financial weight on your shoulders. And I see that frustrating, causing a lot of undue stress, killing motivation, making people question, are they even intelligent because they're not learning as fast as they thought they should be learning to get into, you know, becoming a software engineer because they only gave themselves six months. If you can solve the financial situation and pay the bills, there is no need to worry. This profession is for you. You're most likely smart enough. You're most likely going to figure out how to be resourceful enough and self-discipline. You know, those two things can take a little while to build up. They're a skill, right? So that's my personal opinion. And a lot of content creators are telling you, yeah, get into it now. This is a perfect time. Like they're completely ignoring your situation. Think about one thing I, I highly encourage you to consider is what does a coding boot camp have to gain by convincing you that there's no recession? 
that this uh, profession is open to everyone right away and you can get in so quickly, right? What do content creators that sell courses have to gain from convincing you? Yes, join now, right away. Go full force, head first, join my courses. They might not say that. It's a little bit of an indirect sale. All we, and even me, I sell coaching services, right? Take my advice with a grain of salt if I'm trying to rush you into this. I guess I'm just tired of content creators and coding boot camps fucking people over all because they try to rush this. Becoming a software engineer right now, if you do enjoy coding, it's an amazing career and it is going to be available for you. Like I said, this recession, people are actually getting jobs during the recession. They're not as plentiful, but they are there and they're going to become more plentiful as we get over this recession. These opportunities, whether you're going the self-taught route or the coding boot camp route, I highly encourage if you enjoy coding to pursue this on the side. If you have a job or if you have a huge financial backing, push forward with it. Right now is actually an excellent time to learn a little bit of a, an education, right? I would be very careful. If you are financially strained or you're, you're going into massive debt with this, maybe this isn't the time to make a huge leap of faith into this career transition. There are so many cheap courses out there. This is actually a time right now to explore coding a little bit. Pursue free education, pursue cheap education, learn some of the basics, learn some of the fundamentals, see if you really like it, right? Build a couple of things, build a couple of projects. What do you want to build? What got you excited about coding? This is the time to explore and learn skills on the side. If you can go that route and you have a financial plan, this is actually an excellent time for you to get into software engineering. And I want to stress that if you have a financial plan that's more conservative, it's not getting you to take so much risk, now is an excellent time to start building up those skills because jobs will open back up. And you never know, you can get hired along the way, right? It's probably going to take you a little bit longer, but the jobs are still there at the entry level. It's confusing because we have a lot of generic messaging and a lot of people default to jobs are super plentiful. These opportunities exist for everyone. This industry is super accessible. We're not even in a recession too. It's hopeless. There are no jobs, etc. cetera. And I, I know a lot of you are probably looking at all these LinkedIn posts and videos that are usually siding with one side or the other, but I'm telling you, sometimes you just have to shut off that noise. Whether that means removing connections on LinkedIn, Twitter, et cetera, blocking people if you have to. I remove so many connections on LinkedIn to curate my feed and it's very healthy for me. When you get a lot of extreme perspectives around what the job market is like, it's not helpful for you. It's not constructive. It's demotivating or it's over motivating. So you don't, you under prepare for the situation. There's a middle ground. And in that middle ground, a lot of aspiring developers are getting jobs that don't have a huge financial pressure on themselves because that usually makes aspiring developers make really dumb decisions on their learning path. I shouldn't say dumb, just um, um, risky decisions, not really focused on the quality they're learning, just trying to learn the minimum possible to get that job. And usually they don't end up getting the job when they're not truly invested in their education. So that's my opinion. Um, I, I think what I want to stress is I would just be careful about those extremes and I would pay attention. And this is what I highly encourage you to do. If you join communities, if you see other aspiring developers moving forward with their education, et cetera, if you find a lot of these extreme views that are demotivating or kind of confusing, but you see like people in the middle ground that are just pursuing forward, they're eventually, you know, they got a project out this month, they're going to get another project out next month. They're slowly moving forward. 
those are the kind of people that I would actually start to engage with and see what's going on in their head. See what's motivating them. See what situation they have set up for themselves. Because I find that a lot of people just don't know what the hell to think about pursuing this profession during these times. And I think some of the extreme sides are very loud and they're very conflicting and they just create chaos. And one thing that really kills the trajectory for us, especially a self-taught developer is not knowing what the hell the market is going to be like if they're going to get a job, if they're moving in the right direction. Just kind of hearing a lot of people on LinkedIn and Twitter either bitching about the industry or or just some people just, yeah, I got a job super easy. OK, well, why didn't I get a job? Am I not intelligent enough? Like, am I really screwing this up? Like, what's going on here? Right. I find that a lot of people that curate their feeds to just get reasonable aspiring developers that are continuing to push forward. It's okay if they're a little discouraged or they're a little excited, right? But I find if you can connect with more aspiring developers that are on that middle ground, you are going to have a much easier and more comfortable time breaking into this profession. I guess I'm kind of just venting a little bit because I know a lot of people are scared or they're confused on what's going on. They're confused if they should switch into web development. I'm telling you, if you enjoy coding, I, from my own experience, web development is one of the most rewarding, fun, engaging, challenging things I have done. I feel like I have an endless um, set of opportunities ahead of me and I could build so much. I could literally gain financial freedom just from being able to build a full, full website. It, it changed my life. It really did. It changed my career trajectory. It changed my possibilities. It changed my confidence. And even just engaging with so many people as a content creator, it changed my life for the positive. And it really is an amazing profession. And it saddens me to see so many people give up. And I really think the main reason is unrealistic expectations. That's it. The opportunity is there for you. It's always been there for you. This recession doesn't change anything. But I just highly encourage you to be careful. Really simple decisions. Be careful of your spending. Be careful of underestimating the amount of money it's going to take, the amount of time it's going to take to continue to pay the bills while you are doing this career transition. If you can solve that problem, this recession means nothing. It's not going to get in the way of you becoming a developer. Those opportunities are out there. If you solve that, I promise you, you will eventually become a developer. But if there's, if you haven't solved that, if you are going to not be able to, or you're going to be behind on your bills in three months, if you are panicking when i graduate this coding boot like before you go in if i graduate this coding boot camp i need to get a job within three months i need to get a job within three months i spent all this money on a coding boot camp or if you're going the self-taught route if you're like i have to get a job within six months right i have to this is what i can afford so far i'm going to quit my job i'm going to get a job within six months if you are in those rough financial situations now is not the time to make those risky plays that's it be financially conservative, be smart about your spending. And if you can do that, you literally, the, the chances of you becoming a developer skyrocket. This is what I've seen across thousands of aspiring developers. So I don't know if this is comforting. I don't know if this is helpful. I don't know if this is discouraging. These are my views on it because everyone keeps asking about this. I want to see people pushing forward. But there are a few situations where people need to be a little bit more realistic with themselves. So I'm very curious what you think. These are my opinions about the recession and becoming a developer during it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know. Let me know what your concerns are. Do you even have concerns? Do you feel motivated past this? Are you financially prepared for this? If you are, I love it. I want to continue seeing or I want to see you continue pushing forward. I really, really do. I love when people unlock 
their career potential and they get into something that they really love. And if you love coding, it unlocks everything. It really does. And you'd be surprised at the opportunities of financial freedom it'll unlock later down the road for you. You really would. That's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you in the next one.